Hi my friends! For our small group activity today, we are going to be describing art. For this activity, you will need three things. You're going to need your journal, you're going to need something to draw with, I have my crayons, and you're going to need something to write with, like a pencil. So go get your three supplies and we'll get started. Alrighty, I have all three of the supplies that I need in order to do this activity. I have my journal and it's open up to my next empty page. I have my crayons and my pencil and it's time for us to start to think. Our journal topic today is what kind of animals live in trees? So before we do anything, we're going to stop and use our thinking brains and think what animals do we know that live in trees? Hmm, I know that birds live in trees. Maybe I will draw a picture of a tree with a bird living on the tree. Or maybe you want to draw a picture with squirrels in your tree or monkeys. There's a special type of frog that lives in a tree. Does anyone know the name of that frog? It's called a tree frog. Maybe you want to draw snakes in your tree or koala bears in your tree. Whatever animal you choose, make sure it's an animal that lives in a tree. Am I going to draw a picture of a dolphin in a tree? No, that's silly. So I'm going to choose an animal that lives in a tree and I'm going to first draw it on my paper. All right, time for me to get started. Here I go. The first part of my drawing is drawing a great big tree. Now that I have the tree on my paper, I'm going to add the animal that lives in my tree. Okay, I added my animals to my tree. I chose bluebirds. Bluebirds live in a tree. So here's my tree. That's what I started with. And then I added my blue birds. Here they are. I even put some bluebirds flying around my tree. And if you look really close, I have an itty bitty baby bird nest holding some blue eggs for the blue birds. So my animal that I picked were birds. Birds live in a tree. Now that I have my birds in my tree, it's time for me to add my words. I'm going to write a sentence. Birds live in a tree. So I need to write all of those words. Now parents, this is where we're going to need your help. You can have your child sound out each letter for all of the words they need to build a sentence, or if you'd like, you can use a yellow or a yellow marker or a yellow highlighter and give your children the letters they need in order to write the sentence. All the kids have to do is trace it. I'll show you what this looks like. So I used my yellow highlighter, or you can use a marker, and I wrote my words nice and clear for the kids to see. Birds live in a tree. Now, you, the kids can use their pencil and they can go back through and write the letters that they see. Birds live in a tree. So now that I'm done tracing my sentence, I have both parts of my journal. I have my picture and my sentence to match. Birds live in a tree. Now remember parents, you can have your children write the sentences two different ways. You can slowly read them the letters one at a time and have them write the matching letter. Or you can use a yellow marker or a highlighter and let the kids trace the letters that you write first. Either way works. 
at this point and at this age, the kids are just ex being exposed to print and writing letters in the correct formation. For example, we don't want them to start reversing their letters. And it's okay if they do reversals, that's perfectly fine, but we'd like them to practice it the correct direction. All right, my buddies, I hope you have fun with your journals today. I can't wait to see what animals you pick. Remember, if you would like to share this activity with your teacher, when you're all finished, have mommy, daddy, grandma, my grandpa take a picture of you with your journal and you can send it to your teacher. That way your teacher can see all the wonderful work that you did. All right, my friends, I hope you have fun. I can't wait to see you soon. Bye-bye.